Business Report brought to you by Republic Bank. We're the one for you. Barbados has a new governor of the Central Bank. Cleveson Haynes has been appointed to the post. Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs Chris Sinclair approved Mr. Haynes' appointment to head the financial institution for five years, effective January 1, 2018. The new governor has been acting in the position since February 24th this year when former governor Dr. Delao Worrell was fired after his legal efforts to remain in the job failed. Mr. Haynes has over 37 years' experience in central banking with emphasis on macroeconomic policy and bank regulation. He started his career at the bank as a research trainee in 1980 and held various positions including advisor to former governors Calvin Springer, Winston Cox and Dr. Marion Williams. He was deputy governor from February 2009 until February this year. His tenure at the central bank was briefly interrupted from 1987 to 1989 when he served as technical assistant to the Canadian executive director at the International Monetary Fund. Mr. Haynes has authored and co-authored a number of publications, principally on economic policy, debt and financial sector issues. Ryan Broom for the Business Report. Thanks, Ryan. Well, regional petroleum giant Saul is still reviewing the Fair Trading Commission's decision on the proposed sale of the Barbados National Terminal Company Limited. According to Ezra Prescott, it is the, it's only when that full review has been completed that Saul will be able to make a decision as to the way forward. He says the regulations allow for either party to appeal if they so desire, and Saul must first complete the review process to determine whether there is any merit for appeal. In a statement, Saul has already dismissed as a non-issue concerns that the sale of the BNTCL will result in unfair competition, as was determined by the FTC in its findings. The Commission had stated that it could not approve the proposed acquisition of the BNTCL by Saul given the present terms of the agreement. The FTC determined that the proposal in its present form would essentially be anti-competitive in terms of its likely impact on other players in the market. Well, let's take a look now at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. First up is Jamaica, where Wisinko Group Limited was the volume leader with 2,925,359 units. And they were followed by JMMB Group Limited and Mayberry Investments Limited. In Trinidad and Tobago, Guardian Holdings Limited was the volume leader with 34,900 shares changing hands for a value of $598,858.15 and they were followed by JMMB Group Limited and Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited. And in Barbados, Goddard Enterprises Limited was the volume leader, trading 24,215 shares at $11.11 .11 each, and they were followed by Banks Holdings Limited.